In this video, you will see Kelly and Maria try to determine the rate at which a rabbit population is growing. As they work, consider the understandings they express and determine if their reasoning is valid. A rabbit breeder currently has 10 female rabbits. She controls their breeding so that they all mate with males at the same time, have a litter approximately one month later, and then wait an additional two months before mating again. P of t is the number of rabbits at time t in months. The size of the population P of t can be modeled by the formula R of t equals 10 times 2 to the t, where t is measured in months. How quickly is the rabbit population growing at t equals 1 and t equals 2? So what's the difference between P of t and R of t? I think P of t is pretty straightforward, like that's the size of the population. And maybe before we do that, or after we do that, we need to somehow, I feel like I need a chart of when babies are being born, okay. because the one month, two month break is kind of throwing me off. Okay, that's good, yeah. So at zero months, there are 10 rabbits. 10 rabbits, yeah, it's just the females. So it's 10 rabbits plus the litter. At two months, they're not doing anything. So it's just whatever right. one month was. So we can just carry that down. Plus one litter. So ten. They should be having another litter? Yes. Okay. So it's 10 rabbits. Plus two, two litters. So is it that at one month, it's just growing by 20 rabbits? Right, so at one month it's... And at two months, it's growing by 40 more rabbits? You're saying that doesn't make sense because we're not supposed to be growing at two months. Yeah. Hmm. I think your idea of graphing it might help okay. to see it. Okay, so R of T is telling us, according to the problem, R of T measures the size of the population. So what that is saying is that at three months, the size of our population should be 80. Okay. But according to the way that the rabbits are mating, at three months, they it's, shouldn't be making a new litter. So whatever is the size of the population at three months would also be the size of the population at one month because yeah. it happens and then it flatlines. Okay. So at one month, we should actually have the 80 and it'll flatline so that it stays at 80 rabbits at three months. Yeah. Okay, because from time zero until the month one, we only had those 10 rabbits, mm -hmm. the females. So it was flat until month one, and then it jumped up to 80. Right. How quickly is it growing? Well, at T of one, it did this thing where it jumped, right? Yeah. So it jumped like this. So, so how quickly it... did it grow from month, like when they had their babies, what did it grow by? Like, grew by 70 babies. Yes. Okay. And then at T of 2, which is, oh, which is right here, so at T of, oh, yeah, T of 2. The rate of change is zero. Yeah, they're not changing. So they're not having more babies at two months. I think there's a difference between the rate of change and the amount of change. So I think the amount of change at t equals 1 is 70 rabbits. Okay. But that's not really the rate of change. Um, okay. So we want to... I guess if we were going to find the instantaneous rate of change, we could take the average rate of change over a really small interval. Okay. So what interval do you want to use? Um, we're looking for t equals 1, right? Yes. Okay. Well, the average rate of change formula is f of x2 minus f of x1 all over x2 minus x1. So we could do it from x1 is 1 and x2 is 1.1. Sounds good. Okay. So if we were to plug this into the formula. So are we... Okay, so for our, for our f of x, are we using r of t or p of t? I think we're using p of t. Okay. Well, we want a change in the size of the population and the actual formula for the change in, or for the size of the population of P of T, oh. but R of T is like a model, so it's yeah. not the actual 
Okay. It's just interpreting it. So if we plug so this we should, into yeah. P of T on the denominator, we would get 1.1 minus 1. Okay, and the numerator would be at one month, what is our population? 70. Okay, and at 1.1 months, what is our population? 70. So 70 minus 70. <laughs> just 0 over 0.1. Oh no, <laughs> that was not a good idea. Okay, so let's go to the left and the right maybe of the of okay. one. So let's do 0. 0.9 to 1.1. 1. 1. Okay. Or even 0. 0.9 to 1, does it matter? Uh, let's try to go over the interval okay. right now. So we're gonna go over one. So at 1.1, 1. 1, we said it was 70. Mm -hmm. At 0. 0.9, it's only 10. Okay, because I didn't have the babies yet. That gives us 80 over 0. 60. 60. I'm just write it next to it. <laughs> so that gives us 60 over 0.2. Mm -hmm. Which, if we calculate that, is, Which 300. is 300. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't know that. It's fine. 300. Okay. So that's, what does that mean? That the rate of change is 300? What? <laughs> that the... Well, we were looking for the average rate of change of the interval. So I mean that the average rate of change. Oh, I know. don't have 300 rabbits. Right, but the average rate of change is the slope of the instantaneous line between two points. So if we were finding, let's change this to pink. So if we were changing, finding between 0 0.09. Oh, you're on the, yeah. Had one job. Between 0 0.09 mm -hmm. and would we say 1.1? 1 .1? Mm -hmm. So those are about here. That would say that the slope of this line is 300. Because that's what we just found. Hmm. So, I guess that would, that would make sense if it was over a longer interval, I guess. Mm -hmm. But because it sounds like you're popping out 300 rabbits instantly, right. which I know isn't... Correct. In this video, Kelly and Maria proposed that the rabbit population was growing at a rate of 300, but this answer didn't make sense to them. We'll explore how to think about this problem in upcoming videos.